Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Today we are going back to the 80s. Grab your Taylor Dane cassettes and your leg warmers. I wasn't alive in the 80s. I think that's what they had in the 80s. Grab your various paraphernalia because we're going back to 1986 to look at a classic children's Halloween special called The Worst Witch. I didn't have this growing up, it was a little bit before my time. Imagine Harry Potter, but in the 80s, and it's all girl witches. Like, a lot of the Harry Potter aesthetics were clearly um, inspired by this. You can't tell me otherwise. I believe it's based on a children's book, and it's about a little witch named Mildred, who is a bad witch. She's she's the worst witch. That That's why they called it. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get into it because honestly words can't describe. There's gonna be two camps of people when you guys see this video. There's gonna be those of you who immediately remember this and have all the nostalgia and those of you who have no idea what this is and are completely confused. So let me know which one of those you are in the comments section because here we go. <laughs> this is one of the head teacher people at the school. By my count, the school only has, like, I think three teachers. She's got, like, mad style. She's really cool. <laughs> I also didn't notice this when I was watching the movie, but, um, that character, she's played by, um, Diana Rigg, who sadly just passed away. She was in Game of Thrones and James Bond. She was, like, one of the iconic actors. I absolutely love her, and it made me, like, really sad when I realized that, but then it, it made me really happy because it makes that character even more badass, knowing that it's portrayed by her. She was lovely in this, she was lovely in everything she did, she was just phenomenal. I also absolutely adore that she has to get up on her broom and ride up to where the, the bell is and then just like poke it <laughs> with a stick instead of just like being able to use magic to ring it from the ground. I just, I love that detail so much. Been in my head all day. I've been walking around singing it. Like I said, this is Mildred. She's struggling. You nervous about the potion test, Millie? Petrified. Better sneak this in with us then. So they've got a potion spell, and they know they're not gonna do very well. And Millie's best friend is like, ah, cheating. That's the way of the world, kid. No textbooks, Maud. Either you know it or you don't. You can't fake a potion. She's like, uh-uh, no. No cheating in this class. You have exactly three minutes. So they're trying to make a laughter potion. All the other girls do a good job and they just start laughing like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then these two girls try their potion and it's messed up and they just turn invisible. Have you any idea what you did wrong, Mildred? It was my fault, Miss Harper. No, it was my fault, Miss Harper. I don't care whose fault it was. Yeah, so they're not winning any points. How badly did I mess up my set trying to do that bit? I don't know what that was. You see what I mean? You see in all the Harry Potter aesthetics? Definitely gives off that vibe. I didn't gather it at midnight. It was sort of after midnight. Oh, Mildred. Damn it, Mildred. It was supposed to be midnight. Your boots are mine. Must be mine. Lasers are undone. See, I thought I understood this spell as just like an invisibility spell, but I guess like they're dismembered. Oh boy, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> that sounds way more intense than it actually is. Like they have to like swap their feet back because their feet have just like run off in different directions. Like, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly what this spell does. I hope it wasn't painful. You're calling from your broom? Oh. She's just got a phone installed on her broom and she's showing off of it. <laughs> All those crazy teenagers and their broom phones. So Mildred gets sent to the principal's office. Uh, the principal is talking to her niece on the phone, I think. I'll try harder. Please do. I don't want to hear any more bad reports about you. So the headmistress, she's cool. She kind of lets her off with a warning, even though it seems like she does this all the time. Poor Mildred. And then the niece shows up. 
Thomas arrived. I had a little accident, but I'm okay. Hey, Auntie, sorry about the window. And maybe, maybe I'll catch it this time, but, like, Donna shows up and she's really cool, but then she just doesn't contribute at all. They really don't use her that much, so... I don't, I don't know why they didn't use her more. Imagine kissing HB. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> oh God, like genuinely, the first time I watched this, I actually got jump scared by that. You should hardly be spreading disgusting gossip about matters which do not concern you. Was she just spying on the kids? That's terrifying, <laughs> poor kids. Good morning, girls. Okay, there are, there are five teacher type figures. I apologize, I was incorrect. Just listen to them, Delilah. So now this is the headmistress's her her twin sister. They've changed my school song. Good, never mind, Mr. Sagatha. Soon it'll all be yours. All of it. <laughs> and her sidekick. Uh, they are trying to take over the school. They're very fun. And now the two of them go running off and uh, get tripped by Mildred and her friend. And I just, I love the the tripping effect, because it's just... <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> like, I don't even think they used a dummy. I think it was literally just a dress double that they flew up in the air to make it look like she fell. I love that. The special guest for our Halloween celebrations this year is to be... Are you ready? The Grand Wizard! <laughs> so the Grand Wizard is going to visit their school on Halloween night. That'll come in to be important later. I think that was a sentence. I'm going to keep talking anyway. Miss Harbroom would like me to remind you that there is absolutely no flying in the corridor. See, that 100% sounds like something Filch would have said. Didn't Filch say something like that in, like, one of the first Harry Potter books? And I love this part, they all get a kitty. <laughs> I'm such an old cat lady already. Right, so the mean girl is the favorite student. She gets her cat first, all the other girls get cats, and then Millie goes last, and she's the one that doesn't get a black cat because they ran out of black cats. So she gets this little tabby instead, which... He's still adorable. Look at him. I will say that my absolute favorite thing about the cats in this movie is that they're very clearly overdubbed with uh, voice actors doing cat noises. Oh, Tabby, I can't keep it steady. Oh, what you know what is the matter? Whoa! And it's very obvious and I love it so much. Yeah. <laughs> what happened there? Did she pull her nose off? <laughs> That's what the sound effect led me to believe it. It kind of hurt my nose to hear it. So if you're filthy, filthy, smelly, smelly, evil, wicked, and cruel, wicked and cruel you'll, be home, you'll be riding home in my little school. school. Yeah, you're gonna have these songs stuck in your head. Sorry. What are you going to call yours? Blackie. How can you call it Blackie? Because it isn't. Oh, it might get a complex. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll call it Tabby then. You know, you don't have to name the cat what it is. You could name the cat anything. You could name it Herschel, or Sandy, or Joanne, or Steph. Look at Pixies. Isn't she cute? So now they all have to teach their cats to ride on the broomstick with them, which looks very dangerous to me. I'm very nervous for the cats. Mildred, the kittens are supposed to ride on the broom. However, for the time being, your kitten's allowed to ride in your satchel. I love how the teachers just kind of keep making exceptions for Mildred. I mean, Mildred's gone through a lot, so like, I'm glad she's catching a break, but they're like, absolutely no one gets to have the cat in their bag. They have to put it on the broomstick. And then Millie's just like, but mine's in the bag. And they're just like, okay. <laughs> We get a fantastic uh, 80s green screen montage, the first of many. Pathetic Dumbo. I don't know why she called her Dumbo as an insult to why she couldn't fly. Wasn't that Dumbo's thing, that he could fly? You made it, Mill. You're all amazing, isn't it? I swear, I had to watch it a few times just to see, because it looked like they weren't riding on brooms at all. It looked like they were just floating, but I guess I can kind of see like where the 
where the broomstick is, but like, yeah, it just looked like they were floating in midair. I was confused. <laughs> Yeah, so Millie falls, and no one really comes to see if she's okay. They're just kind of like, damn it, Millie. So the girls are being mean to Millie for no reason, again. And then Millie accidentally uh, dumps ketchup on this girl, and she's afraid that she's bleeding out. Oh my goodness, holy fuck, oh, she's bleeding, she's bleeding! Maybe it's not ketchup, maybe it's jam? I don't know what it is. It's some kind of red liquid substance. Uh, the girls are now playing a game where they have to scare each other and every time each team member scares somebody from the other team They get a point and uh, Mildred is easily scared so she loses the game and the mean girl cheats so she really loses the game <laughs> It's kind of amazing that they can tell which scream is which girls because it all sounds the same to me like just from like three rooms over they're just like oh yep that was Millie <laughs> no questions asked so she tries to turn the mean girl Ethel into a frog and instead she turns her into a pig please miss hardbroom make her turn me back stop snorting Ethel yeah Ethel stop snorting <laughs> you should have thought of that before you were mean but yeah Mildred has no idea how to turn her back so she has to go to the library to figure it out and she takes um, mean girl pig with her <laughs> That sounds like I'm being really mean, but that's what she is. She they, she was turned into a pig. How dare you say I smell? The sad little pig, look. I'm just a sucker for animals. I love animals. Oh, I'm sorry, Ethel. I didn't mean that you smell. I just meant that, well, you know, pigs smell. I think you're horrid. I don't think pigs smell, though. Isn't that like a misconception? Aren't they like really clean animals? Any pig owners in the in the comment section want to weigh in? <laughs> I don't believe it. Come on, find the reversal spell, idiot. Well, she's trying. Oh, it hasn't worked. Your boots have come back. And your eyes are coming back. You're coming back, Ethel. I'm not, but I'm feeling rather strange. What's happening? Oh, good lord, I'm gonna see that in my dreams until I'm 85. Jesus. <laughs> It's so scary. It's gonna take more than sight to get you off the hook! Oh, you're back. That's an improvement, Ethel. I think. Ooh, burn, Ethel. So all the girls are fangirling over the Grand Wizard. I, I'm not sure exactly what the Grand Wizard is. I don't know if he's like like a like a head council figure or if he's more of a rock star. Just we'll we'll get there. You'll see. He's played by the legendary Tim Curry, and his like iconic scene is the whole reason I wanted to make a video about this movie in the first place, so we'll get there. Our class has been selected to present the broomstick display. <gasps> right, so now all the girls are trying out for like the flying team. They're gonna put on this like air show of sorts, like a like a witch's air show when the Grand Wizard is there on Halloween. And after even more magnificent 80s green screenshots, we find out that um Mildred did not make the team, but then one of the girls can't be there because she's... Miss Cackle says she's been at the laughter potion again. Gotten into the laughter potion again? Is the laughter potion addictive? Does she need help? This is no laughing matter. And Mildred gets to take her place. Mildred's broom is broken though, so mean girl Ethel says she can borrow her spare, and then of course jinxes it so that she gets tossed off um, in the middle of the the flying show, what have you. So back with these witches that are trying to take over the school, they're pre-gaming, they're raving, they're having a good time. Now the girls are getting ready for Halloween night. I really worry about my nose, don't you? I'm mean. Do you ever think it'll get huge and sexy? Just like this one. What? Hey, how do people with noses like this ever kiss? They don't. <laughs> huh? Where is he? You know wizards, they're always late. Okay, this is my favorite scene. This is everybody's favorite scene, I'm pretty sure. This is the scene where it's Halloween night and the Grand Wizard shows up and he gives a musical performance. And Tim Curry, I love Tim Curry. Tim Curry is like one of the, one of the greats, man. Like, he has this scene where it's like this like super 80s music video. It doesn't tie into the rest of the movie at all, but it doesn't matter. It's just, oh, it's so great. It's him! 
comes flying in like the badass that he is I wouldn't change places with anyone tonight tonight the creepiest anything can happen on Halloween your dog could turn into a cat <laughs> something spooky is going down Better than a video. Has anybody seen my tambourine? I may start playing, picking the begin. Creep back, Okay, <laughs> here's the thing. When I make these videos, I obviously like skip around to the bits that I would need to talk about and I try to, you know, get it all on one battery so that I don't have to like switch them and, you know, I'm trying to condense everything down. I just watched that whole three and a half minute scene. I let it run all the way through. Did I need to? No, I could have skipped over the whole thing, but I watched the whole thing because it's like a serotonin injection into my brain. It just makes me genuinely happy. <laughs> I love Tim Curry. God bless. That song's gonna be in my head all day. I'm not even mad about it. So all the girls take off flying in this very bright moonlight. We're going to start with the broomstick formation. Let it begin. Everybody's kind of hitting on the Grand Wizard and he's just super uncomfortable. Poor Grand Wizard. And of course, Millie crashes because mean girl Ethel, yes, I'm gonna call her that every time I say her name, uh, she, she cursed the broom, so Millie crashes. She ruins the flying formation thing. Everybody's mad at her. I'm so sorry. I don't know how it happened. I was a fool to trust you. You abominable child, Mildred. Get out of my sight. Poor Millie. Nobody's even, like, worried about her. Please, go. All the teachers are mad at her, and the Grand Wizard's just like, huh? Bummer. I've got another gig. He's just so cool. Why is he so cool? So Millie's very sad. She's crying onto her cat. She decides she has no choice but to run away. But as she's running away, flying on her broomstick, she sees the witches that are trying to take over the school. And she's like, oh no, I better do something about that. They're plotting to take over the entire school. There's a stranger in our midst. Is that a witch's thing? They have really good smell. Anyway, she gets caught by the witches. They're trying to scare her. And before they can actually, like, apprehend her, she turns them all into snails. Good for Mildred. Turn these witches into snails! We did it, Tabby! We did it! We really did it! I don't think the cat did anything. It's a very cute cat, but, you know. Own your accomplishments, Mildred. You deserve it. Then she gets caught for trying to run away, and she's in very big trouble, and then she's like, oh no, I have all these snails, and they were trying to take over the school. The witches. On the other side of the mountain, they are plotting to take over the entire school and turn everybody into toads. And then Miss Cackle is just like, damn it, it's my damn sister. Do you hear that, Aggie? Now, step forward. Just look at you, Aggie. Crawling on your tummy. And after letting all these snails feel shame for a good couple of minutes, they ask Mildred to turn them back, and she's like, I don't know how to do that. Untangles and mags, turn those snailies back to <laughs> Okay, easy does it. <laughs> Calm down. Anyway, she turns them back. Good for Mildred again. Ah! They all try to threaten her, even though they're a gaggle of adults and she's a child, but... And then Mildred is surprised by a grand hall assembly of sorts being kind of thrown in her honor because she saved the entire school on the Grand Wizard's back, and he's just like, you did a good job, kid. Once in a purple moon, there is a special young witch who shines above the rest. I have seen this girl 
trying to fly. I've watched her at play and seen how her friends treated her. Take that mean girl, Ethel. A true witch has witchcraft in her at all times. And this is what you have, Mildred Hubble. It's so cute. And then they get the rest of the day off, so like all of her classmates really love her. <laughs> I ask you to proclaim the rest of the day a half holiday. I mean, they all thought she was pretty cool when she saved the whole school, but I'm sure, you know, getting the rest of the day off of school helped her case. And then the Grand Wizard is like, hey, you want to fly? And then they fly off together in an 80s green screen montage again, and that's the end of the movie. Seems like he is away. The girl in you go. Don't hit. So that's the worst witch of 1986. I know that there was like a TV show, and I think there's a new TV show out. Like it's there's been lots of incarnations of this because I'm I'm pretty sure it was a pretty big um children's book series. I hear somebody walking into the next room. They're gonna hear me talking to myself. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, I had seen that clip of Tim Curry in like an 80s music video all over the internet and I never knew what it was from and when I found out what it was from I was like I have to talk about this on the channel and it's a Halloween movie so perfect timing I don't know this one was really fun I, I really like seeing things that were a big part of other people's childhood that I didn't get to have so that's really cool I don't know did this ever really make it over to America did any of my American viewers did any of you guys like have it on VHS I feel like you did even though it's very clearly English but yeah but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Anything and everything you do to support this channel means the absolute world to me. I love when you guys tell me that a video on this channel cheered you up because making these videos cheers me up. So I'm really glad that all of you are here. I'm really thankful. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye!